Hey, hello guys. Um, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you the workflow that I used to make this tide soap. Um, so this, the bottle for the tide soap itself was actually um, designed in solid solid works, but this towel is not. I found it online because I was looking for something just to add to the scene, just to um, just to make it better. Uh, just to say. And as you know, it's very difficult to model something like this in SolidWorks. So, thank God I found this on the website. I can't really rename the member. I mean, remember the name of the website, but I found this online and I just um, downloaded it. Luckily, it, it imported into SolidWorks Visualize perfectly, and all, and it's ready to use. So, the only thing. I, I'm not sure and I haven't figured out how to fix it, is how you can see that the cloth is not that smooth but I'm hoping but when I had my bump map it got rid of that a little bit but if there's a way I can get that smoother please feel feel free to let me know and so to start I've made my appearance before because I worked on this previously so under my library I've just saved all my appearance here there are four appearance for the bottle so I'm just gonna start adding them to the bottle and I'm gonna add the blue to the cap and I'm gonna add this to the towel and I guess because the way this was modeled this was actually these are is important into visualize as two separate appearance so I'm just gonna add this to it to make everything the same so I'm gonna add this to there too. And so now we have all our appearance. So this this appearance actually came straight from SolidWorks because when I made the the bottle I just picked um a white low gloss plastic and just changed the color to orange. But to get more more of an, an accurate color, so what I did is I'm just gonna minimize this and this is like a Google image and I just clicked on this and use this pen dropper click on it and drag it to anywhere on this part to get a color just like that so that's pretty much what you would do for the bottle and the cap and and that's pretty much that and for the color this is what came from SolidWorks I didn't change much except for maybe I reduced the roughness um, to 10 and just to give it a little bit glossiness but not too much and that's pretty much it for the bottle and the cap the settings are pretty much the same so for the cloth it's pretty much genetic material um, everything is black and I just made it all white and if you want you can change the saturation and the hue so if I want to be like a red towel I can change that or you can change your hue to whatever color you want and you can just increase the saturation but for this tutorial I'm just gonna leave it at white so also the website I downloaded this cloth from I also um, found the bump map which is this so it's kind of like a grayish and you can see the towel I mean it works I'm not sure if it's the best but it works for what I'm trying to do um, so what we are going to do is just import that into this bump map and because it is it is not a normal map make sure that this is not checked if you have the purple the purple looking picture then you can check this but because it's a grayish um, bump map so we're gonna just uncheck that and I just have like a bump straight of six and I didn't really change anything so that's giving me that bumps on the towel so we are pretty much almost halfway done the next thing we need to do is add the logos to it so once again um, Google is always a good source so I found this image on Google so all you want to do is and this this is actually a good image because in Photoshop you can easily trim the logo out and delete all this and save your file as a PNG file and 
So we will need a logo for the name in the front and the logo for the back, which this is also a good image to use the same thing. You would um, edit it in Photoshop and just trim this out. And, and we are gonna add this too. So just to add more details to it, I guess. So once, once you edit it in Photoshop, you should get something like this, which is just that and this and also that. So now this, this image is a little bit rough, but it's gonna be on the back. But I mean, it works for what we're trying to do. So the next thing we're gonna do is just right click, add new decal and I want to browse to my file location so I click that first and before I do that I'm just gonna change this to preview mode so everything is fast when I start adding it um, so I'm gonna right click new decal um, browse to my desktop click that so once it adds it there I'm just gonna drag it to this face and I want to make sure this is one and now I can turn on my object manipulation too and I can just start dragging this around where I want and I can scale it up scale it up drag it up so it's gonna take you a little bit of adjusting so I'm just gonna do it real quick adjust it very fast so I don't take too much of your time so let's say you've done it and you've adjusted it and you've determined that's fine so you'll do the same thing for the rest so we'll do the new decal we this we want to add this open and we are going to drag this somewhere up here and turn on our object manipulation to drag it bring it down drag it again it's because it's clipping we want to change the decal depth to one and now we want to scale it down and maybe drag it out something like that and rotate it and maybe drag it down scale it up something so you just gonna you know, keep adjusting it until you find something that works better maybe something like that um, I'm not gonna spend too much time on it but that's just an idea of how you get it on it um, so the next thing we want to do is we want to add the logo on the back so we are going to just go into our camera because we I like this thing I don't want to mess with it so I'm gonna do control C control V to copy that camera and I'm on this camera I'm gonna switch to the new camera and I can go to the back and maybe something like that and maybe zoom in and I'm gonna go back to my parents and new decal and click that open and I want to drag that here and once again change this to one and adjust it so I just pretty much adjust it to what we want so let's say that is good so now we're pretty much almost done so what we need to do now is I'm gonna switch back to fast mode because I think we have all our logos in and it's still loading um, okay so now maybe I'll change my camera to this and as you can see it looks pretty good um, I'll probably change it to accurate mode it's gonna get rid of that so I know it's a little bit blurry here we go so now I know this looks a little bit and it's because the weight of the surface so you can adjust it to whatever however you want it to make it look right so the next thing we need to do is just add a little bit clear coat to this to our logo to make it shiny because it looks dull so we're gonna go into I made an appearance I'm just gonna drag that appearance on this logo and 
when I go into my appearance, you see the white dot on it, meaning this appearance is added to that logo. So I want to do the same thing for that logo. And I want to switch my camera to the back. And I want to add that appearance to this logo. And switch back to the switch my camera back to the front and so that's pretty much it for it and we're pretty much done so from here on now you can adjust whatever you need to adjust as fast for the looks you are going for and once you're done you just need to click um, this and browse your file name you browse to the location you want to save it the image type resolution I always do 1920 by 1080 and once you have everything set you can do maybe 1000 pass is good I always do something between 1000 and 1500 and once you're done you just um, I have the center cube but you can just press start render and there you go you have your project done so as always thank you for watching if there's any way I could improve um this workflow of this title so please feel free to leave a comment thanks for watching and have a nice day bye